Hi everyone, it's Anya from Cooking with Plants and welcome to my kitchen. So today I want to show you a quick and easy way that you can cook potatoes without having to spend time watching over a pot or watching the oven, etc. Today I'm actually going to be using the rice cooker. So I like to use my rice cooker to make boiled potatoes or steamed potatoes so I can have them on hand for a good five days and have meal prep potatoes ready for the whole week. So potatoes are amazing in sweet and savory recipes so don't underestimate the amount of meals and treats and desserts and all types of sauces etc that you can make with these. Absolutely amazing and I love to have a whole batch of pre-cooked potatoes in the fridge pretty much at all times. They're just so versatile and by cooking them in the rice cooker it makes it even easier. So I have had a pressure cooker in the past or an instant pot type of um, pressure cooker but I actually prefer the rice cooker over that because it's actually faster I find just because with a pressure cooker you're waiting for it to come up to pressure so that time in itself can take up to 45 minutes sometimes depending what you're cooking whereas I find in the rice cooker because it's a smaller more condensed type of area it seems to heat up much faster and cook faster so that's just what I found from my personal experience it depends on what you're cooking as well but for potatoes I have found it absolutely amazing so rather than using a traditional pot to boil my potatoes and having to watch over it making sure it doesn't boil over making sure I cook it for the right amount of time with the rice cooker it's pretty much set and forget and if you do not if you do forget at the end and you don't have time to keep running back to it it actually just keeps it warm because of that keep warm setting you can be going on with your day and doing other work etc and you don't have to worry about your potatoes going too soft or that they're going to burn because the water has evaporated out of the bottom of a pot. So what I like to do first up is I've got about a kilo of just some smaller type of potatoes but it really doesn't matter what size. Um, basically if you have bigger potatoes it's still going to fill the same amount of pot space and you can set your timer a little bit longer at the end if you do need to cook them a little bit longer but I find they pretty much cook around the same amount of time so today I'm just using smaller ones I've washed them I like to use organic potatoes so I can leave the skins on because they do have some added nutrients in there and then they're good to go so I've washed these off and all I'm going to do is place these into the pot, the insert that comes with the rice cooker. Pouring those in. And then I'm just going to cover them with some water. So the water levels, just experiment with your rice cooker. I've tried it with just a cup of water, a couple of cups of water. But what I really like to do is to cook it similar to the way I would on a stove top. And that's just to cover the potatoes that I have in there. So I've probably filled about half of this pot and I'm just going to pour enough water to cover them. Now this water is not boiled, it's just filtered water that I've placed into the kettle just for easy pouring purposes. And so I've just covered these nicely. Now the rice cooker I have here is just one that I bought from Aldi recently. They were having a sale on these. It's called Ambiano. I don't think it's a particular brand. I've never really used rice cookers in the past and I actually prefer to use the rice cooker for a myriad of other things other than cooking rice. So I've made curry in here, I've made soups, I've made gravies, all types of things but I do occasionally use it for rice as well. But my favourite thing to cook in here is potatoes because if you know me, you know that I am definitely a potato girl and this is amazing to cook it in here. So I'm just going to open this up. This has multiple settings. So I've made potatoes using the white rice setting. I've made them using the brown rice setting. Depending on the type of potatoes, sometimes I might have to add just a little bit of extra time at the end. So just play around with your particular model of rice cooker 
and the types of potatoes that you're using as well. But what I like to use on here is there is a steam function and I just place these into here, close up the lid and then I select the steam function and I set it to about 30 minutes and then I test them at the end of that time. And like I said, it will automatically flick over to the keep warm setting and that will sometimes keep the cooking process going a little bit more as well. So just have a play around and see how your rice cooker works and the type of potatoes. And if you want to, you can even chop your potatoes up into smaller pieces and just put a touch of water and then steam them in there. That works perfectly as well. So give that a try and I hope that you like this tip and that your potatoes turn out just as delicious as mine. I'm going to get these cooking now for about 30 minutes and I'll show you what they look like. Okay, so these have actually been keeping warm for a while and I am going to just turn this off and they're ready to go. So I'll just get one of these out of here and you'll see that this is perfectly cooked. So I'll just mash it with a fork and you can see it just comes apart. It's perfectly cooked and you can also drain these off and then let them cool, place them in the fridge, put them in an airtight container and they'll be good for a good five days, sometimes even up to a week. And like I said, I like to just use these in curries. It's ready to go. You can make a really quick and easy potato curry and you don't have to wait for these potatoes to boil because they're already cooked. And potato salad, all those types of things and even delicious potato desserts. So I really hope that this idea helps you. If you do have a rice cooker, give it a try and let me know in the comments if it works for you. If you've done this before, any other things that you like to cook in your rice cooker as well, I would love to hear that. And maybe come on over to the Cooking With Plants Facebook group because I would love for you to share your tips and ideas in there as well. It's a great community. We share lots of recipes, tips, tricks, ideas, and things like this, cooking potatoes in the rice cooker, because we want to make cooking in the kitchen quick, easy, and stress-free in and out of the kitchen in no time. So I hope you enjoyed this today, and I look forward to seeing you for the next recipe. Bye for now.